I think he's quite smart. I was like, what's this bullshit? <laughs> to look back on and laugh at with the benefit of our Snow White how to destroy your own movie it's not that long they're making a new Snow White oh yeah they said they were making a new Snow White but they got rid of the dwarfs right with no dwarfs so it's Snow White and the seven <laughs> people you know sometimes in life you just can't catch a break and it seems like everything you do to try to fix the situation only ends up pushing things from bad to worse to yeah. catastrophic like i once saw a drunk guy stagger out of a late night takeaway with a kebab in hand only to lose his grip on his prized lump of artery clog and saturated meat and fumbled to catch it before it fell to the ground causing him to lose his balance and oh, stumble an face idiot. first into a plate glass window <laughs> and thinking about that poor unfortunate drunk drunken soul who had to retreat home with no food, a bloody nose, bruised ego, and the mocking laughter of me and my friends <laughs> ringing in his ear. I don't have ear. a bloody nose from that, come on. I don't know why it's so much funnier the second time. God, bro, that shit was good. I'm reminded of Snow White actress Rachel Zegler, Ooh. who seems to be single-handedly tanking the box office prospects of uh -huh. her multi-million dollar movie. Sorry, Gal, to the Gal point looks even so industry huge. She looks so tall next to that chick. It's a warning that right, she's rapidly go. turning into box office poison. See, one of the weird little side effects of the current Hollywood strikes is that there's not a whole lot of news and controversy Light. coming out of Tinsel. Yeah, there's nothing else happening, so people are getting fired up over Snow White. Who gives a fuck about Snow White? That shit was boring when I was seven. <laughs> like, I remember watching that, and I'm like, oh my god, when is this shit gonna be over? Town right now which has given the internet a bit i will more tell you something really quickly i'm so sorry to pause this but like what was the most boring cartoon it, it could be a movie what was the most boring cartoon or disney movie that you ever watched okay or movie that you ever watched for me i would say fantasia do you remember fantasia with mickey mouse and the fountain or what, whatever it was like he 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 had his outfit fantasia oh my god you guys yes the same <laughs> I remember falling asleep to that. And my mom, I'm like, I actually said to my mom, I'm like, why? Why are we watching this? And she's like, shh, just watch it. It's a cartoon. It's Mickey Mouse. I'm like, but it's boring. And I'm sorry, but like Bambi was a little bit boring too. It was a little bit boring. The sad bit was over and that was traumatizing as it as it was. And then it was it was, you know, move on to the next thing. We we've got three we've got a few people saying Fantasia here, right? I'll tell you which one wasn't boring though. Um, do you remember this one? Pink elephants. Cinderella was boring. Oh, I don't know, man. Cinderella was ish. It was boring ish, but it wasn't as boring as Fantasia. Robin Hood. Oh yeah, Robin Hood was boring. Best one was Lion King. I love Dumbo. I love Dumbo, Little Mermaid, um, Beauty and the Beast. And yeah, Lion King, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. For me, it was Sleeping Beauty, never into her story. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Reflect on other things, uh -huh. like past you. interviews on the subject of Snow White that were largely ignored at the time, but have soon come back to haunt Disney and Rachel in recent weeks. And holy shit, have they provided fertile ground for backlash and mockery. Well, she's so tall. I was scared of the original cartoon. I think I watched it once and then I never picked it up again. I just mean that it's no longer 1937, and we absolutely- Is it night was did it come out in 1937? Damn. Absolutely wrote a Snow White that she's is not going to be yeah. saved by the prince. She's not going to be saved by the prince, and she's not going to be dreaming about true love. Well, why not? What's wrong with getting saved by the prince? What the hell? Fair. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be, and the leader that her late father told her that she could be if she was fearless, fair, brave, and true. Reality is that the cartoon was made 85 years ago and therefore it's extremely dated when it comes to the ideas of women being in roles of power. I'm gonna stand there. Oh my God, this is oh. echoing Barbie right now. I mean, fair enough. Like I can, I can see Barbie. I have not watched this video before, by the way, but like, I'm just thinking about Barbie and I've watched it and I'm like, I can understand. Um, it's, it, it, was, it was a cool movie. It was a cool movie. I did enjoy it. But like, there was some parts where I was just like, this is a bit over the top, man. Um, but I can see, like, this, this, is, this is the world. This is the way the world is moving right now. Um, 
and it is what it is and i don't i don't I'm not like i'm not trying to say i'm against it i'm not i'm not against it but i am saying like it's a bit much sometimes it is a bit much some of the stuff you know like what it like asman says like what is wrong with with that lala fantasy guy rescues girl kind of thing we don't you know it's it's a story after all oh what's he doing <laughs> I'm trying to remember what <laughs> even originally happened. Well, no, no, I mean, Perfect I don't really pause. think that makes sense, though. <laughs> because, like, it's not like whenever it came out, it was a period piece. It's not like this was, like, because in 1937, people couldn't it afford out. dirt. Because it was, like, the Great Depression and shit. You see what I mean, right? So, like, it was World War II. No, that was, like, a, a bit after that. World War II didn't come out until, like, five years didn't after. Didn't come out? Uh, for, I mean, it was whatever, right? It was like a 1939, then Pearl Harbor is in 41. Whenever Snow White <laughs> came out, it was the about like medieval times. Did anybody in Snow White have a gun? I don't think people had cars in Snow White, did they? They had like horses and Ooh, shit, right? I don't remember. Yeah, like horses and carriages. So like, back in the day, Oppenheimer. The reality mm. is that guys ran everything and women didn't really do a whole lot. That's just how it was back then. So if you tell a medieval story and it doesn't go like that. Bro needs to cut his nails. Well, then it's not really <laughs> accurate. It's not he's, really he's true. He's not wrong. He's and not that's wrong. that's fine. You can tell a fantasy story. That's okay. But I don't think that this was really a product of it being 1937. It was a product of it being a movie that was built off of the fucking Middle Ages. I don't know. I mean, are we... Am, am I crazy here? I mean, it does seem like this girl has the biggest chip on her shoulder. Absolutely. She doesn't like the movie. She's making it again. But she wants it to be totally different. So well, hang on a movie, second. This wait, is he talking about the the actor, the actress? Because like she's just an actress. Like she's just playing a role in the bloody game, uh, in the bloody game, in the bloody movie, right? She's just playing a role. So I I don't really get it. Is the main protagonist? She's playing a character. But uh, it's really not about the love story at all, which is really, really wonderful. And whether or not she finds love along well, the way. Well, I mean, why is that good that she doesn't Sky have News. anybody to be Made in love? Sky News. What's wrong with these people? What is wrong with them? Like, I don't understand this. Why? Crazy? Yeah. Like, why? It, it's just like. To be honest. Like, did, did she just get over, like, a breakup or something? I don't even know who she is. Do you guys know what other movies this chick is in? Because I don't know. So she might be, like, an up-and-coming star, kind of like that Jenna chick from uh, Wednesday, you know? And that was a hit, right? It was really, really cool. So maybe she's just trying to, like, you know, she's from Shazam. See, I haven't even watched Shazam. No, I never watched Shazam. I think I watched the first one. I don't think I watched the second one. But, yeah, okay, so she's she's, like... She's new, right? I don't know any West Side Story. What's her name? Uh, Rachel something. <laughs> Just look up Snow White, uh, Snow White actress. Jen Ortega is awesome. Oh, hell yeah, she is. I love her. <laughs> she is awesome. But yeah, okay, so, so, so this girl is, is she, she looks like she's an up and coming uh, actress, right? So, you know, there's like this it, she's like the it factor kind of thing. And I think, you know, nowadays there is that whole like woke culture thing that's happening. And I mean, you know, you've, you've heard about this on Netflix. Like if you want to make a, make a movie or, or a series on Netflix, you have to be able to tick all these requirements. And you know, there's a lot of stuff on that list. If you know what I mean? Like there must be females in there. There must be like, some, there must be, uh, um, you know, there must be people of all colors, uh, genders uh, of all, you know, races. There maybe there, there must be like a transvestite. Like there's, there's this massive, not always, but like there's always this massive long list of stuff. And it's like, you know, you go back to like the classics of like, I don't know, um, Lord of the Rings. I mean, I mean, that's not a classic, but that is to me because I, I absolutely love that, um, the movies. And it's like, 
there was no crazy requirement back then and it just it was just pure it was just following a book and that was it there's no more like crazy like manipulative you know mental i don't know like emotional thing behind it it's just too much so anyway i think maybe she's just trying to sell her role as this character like i really don't think it's her fault but i don't really know shit so you know thing and this is like a way to, to, gold. <laughs> to just like express yourself i don't get it way is anybody's guess until 2024 um all of andrew's scenes could get cut who knows shite 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 who's andrew yeah who is andrew? andrew shite oh yes shite no offense rachel but you're making it pretty the tough prince. for people to like you now, I don't pretend to know what exactly was going on in her head when she said stuff like this. Maybe she was just a bit nervous and overwhelmed by all the attention and didn't know how to respond with the kind of slick, blandly diplomatic answers that a more experienced celebrity might have given. Maybe it's because she's young and idealistic and just blurted out the first thing that came into her head about the movie and the yeah. character. And so, I don't really want to dump on her too much for all this controversy. She yeah, she's definitely creating the impression of a spoiled, entitled narcissist narcissistic actor who totally doesn't appreciate the amazing opportunity she's been given. Yeah, her comments on the actor's strike were pretty poorly judged for someone getting paid more from one movie than most actors make in their entire lives. And yeah, the things she's saying about Snow White make it seem like the very antithesis of the animated classic that stood the test of time a lot better Damn. than her own movies likely to. But really, when more. you get right down to it, she's oh. just another dumb actor saying what she thinks people want to hear. The yeah, I think Ouch. people need to uh, realize that actors are not politicians they don't fucking know like you ask an actor about what they think about something like this you might as well go ask a, a an electrician go ask a school bus driver that's like the same level of of fucking understanding that is intrinsic to the job what the fuck? Yeah, go ask a janitor. Like, why do people care so much about what actors think about a social issue? The bigger problem is the studio culture that someone like Zegler represents, mm -hmm. because you can bet your left arse cheek that most of these talking points were handed oh, to her directly scary. by the PR people at Disney. Thank you for a yeah, I don't know. I Frankie! Mean, like, you think that's hey. true? I don't Everybody know. Everybody else take a sip. I feel like Disney probably doesn't want them to talk about any of this shit. Because, like, the, Disney's already had a lot of recent controversies. So, like, if I was Disney, I bet they would probably say, don't fucking talk about this shit. And then she... Uh, MV3, special events because we're waiting. We're waiting for, um, we're waiting for Gamescom. There's a countdown. It's, it's almost here. Guys, can you keep me posted if it's that... <laughs> goes on and talks so about we're just it. watching something I mean, they random could right be now trying to do like a all all publicity is good publicity strat where Mike it's like out okay we're My gonna bad. say a Sorry. bunch of really I controversial stuff that gets people mad so they'll watch the show but I don't think that's gonna happen. Okay. Might not have raised them in the most elegant way, but the sentiment they represent is dead on brand for a company that's become the studio equivalent of a snake eating its own tail, desperately cannibalizing their back catalog minutes? of Perfect. classic movies in an increasingly futile- I watched the Aladdin live action one. I thought it was okay. Yeah, I didn't mind it. Attempt to stay relevant. Did you guys watch See, Aladdin? when it comes to their other live action remakes of animated movies, they were generally smart enough to stay pretty quiet about there the little right. changes they I were sneaking in for modern audiences. Yeah, sometimes actors and writers would slip up and say a bit more than they were supposed to, and things got a bit more overt with Peter Pan and the Little Mermaid. That was fun. But for the most part, they were content to pay tribute to the originals and market the remakes as respectful adaptations. Yeah, sure. Right from the off, though, they seem to have taken a very different approach with Snow White. I mean, it's a, it's no wonder. Like, of course, they're, I'm so sorry. And I will stop talking in a second. But it's like, it's no wonder. All of these, they're running out of the industry is running out of ideas of what kind of movies to make. So they are going back to, like, what used to be a hit. And now they're turning it into a movie, right? So it's like... Of course. Uh, let's just wait for Dumbo to come out, because I really like Dumbo. Unless it's already out and I don't know about it. Come on, man. I didn't even know Cinderella was out. I've been living under a, a rock. Mag Maleficent, right? The one with um, Angelina Jolie. Wasn't she? Dumbo came out? Are you serious? Oh, my. Ugh. It kind of makes me frustrated, because it's like, why do you... It's, it's You know that saying, like, don't break... Don't break um, why fix something that's not broken? So it's just like if it if it's going well, but then it's like you, you kind of if you're gonna do a remake on it, don't fuck it up. 
Um, I never watched Beauty and the Beast. I never watched it. I never watched um, the Cinderella one. I never watched the new uh, Peter Pan one. I never, I never watched any of that. Cin well, what was the other one that they showed us? But I did watch Aladdin. And that was okay. <laughs> Why? If... Am I the only person that doesn't want a remake of of these old cartoons? We were just like, saying. I don't want a remake of this. High five, this was It was good then. It's good now. It's still fucking good. What are we doing? Feels like they're making a concerted effort to cast the original movie as some horribly dated relic of a bygone era. Yeah, that we're I all... remember watching like. I remember seeing this and like I, I didn't think I don't remember there being anything really bad about it. Shit. Yeah, it, it, I, I thought it was a movie for girls. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. I was like, what's this bullshit? <laughs> supposed to look back on and laugh an at with the benefit of our modern enlightened hindsight. But fair Rachel enough. certainly doesn't think much of it, and neither does Gal Gadot if their interviews <laughs> are anything to go by. And well, she's not going to, I mean, to be fair, it's not like she's going to go and like actively debate her about this in front of the interview. I mean, she's just like, yeah, you're totally right. Okay, are we done? Great, I've got to go. Like, that's probably the way she feels about it. Like, I, I, don't I know wouldn't what even role believe, because she she's not going out and saying this on her own. Yeah, and also Wonder Woman, that was, because she was in Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman was pretty good. Clay, there's something weirdly outdated now about turning the main character into this fanatically independent, power-hungry girl boss who doesn't need a man. Yeah. It's the kind of talking points that were all the rage five or six years ago, when this whole movement in Hollywood was still in its infancy. But that was then, and this is now. Whoa, 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 the whoa. strong female lead isn't the fresh new concept it was back in 2016. In fact, even in the mainstream media, there's a growing acceptance acceptance that this kind of bland, superficial archetype has run its course, to the point where it's become kind of a meme in its own right. Sure, sure, sure. Either way though, I can't help wondering... Well, I think people see it... I'm sorry, it's right. well, it the worst thing Either ever. Way, though, I'm I sorry, what did it say? To the point... Label, it's the worst thing ever and I'm bored of it. So wait, Emily Blunt rails against stop female lead label, it's the worst thing ever and I'm bored of it? where it's become kind of a meme in its own right. Either way, though, I can't help wondering... Well, I think people see it and they it doesn't seem realistic. And that's what why trickery people is this don't buy into this kind of stuff Sun in the Mercury. same level. It's like, this is just like, back in the... Especially if it's a dated period, uh, it's like a, like a period piece of like the old times. It just didn't happen that often. Like, let's be Welcome real. Welcome back, Flight. Is this really the attitude you want to display towards one of the most beloved- And also I think like another one of the problems is that a lot of times with these characters, they push for these characters because they want these characters to be representative of like something positive. And because they want the character to be representative of something positive, they don't give the character a lot of negative traits or bad values or weaknesses because they don't want people to see the character as weak in any capacity. So mm. you create a character that's good at everything that is that never does anything that's morally ambiguous and can never be wrong or can never lose because if it did then it would destroy the goal that the character is there to create. So like that's what the problem is. The animated I mean, movies always, of all though, time, yeah. the one that I literally it. made Disney what it point. is today. Do you really want to be seen shitting on the accomplishments of previous generations when your own efforts are probably never going to reach the same heights of cultural influence? It's never going to be the same. People are going to remember this shit in a hundred years. Because at a certain point, it really just comes across as a jealous, envious attempt to drag down other people's mm -hmm. work rather than elevating your own. As Mahler so aptly puts it in one of his videos, this isn't a passing of the torch, it's a torching of the past. It's oh, a that's clever, I mm. like that, smart. Deliberate attempt to rewrite history and destroy the Mahler's legacy. Mahler's the guy that did an eight hour um, video about how Dark Souls 2 was bad. I've watched the entire. Uh, I've watched the entire thing twice. He's a really smart guy. I love him. See of the Aww, thing you're so way. desperate to supplant, while conveniently forgetting that there's a reason movies like Snow White have been enjoyed by generations of audiences. Erica, you're funny. The stories they told are timeless and universal, instead of trying to catch the ever-changing winds of the political and social zeitgeist. They weren't written for it. modern audiences. They were written for every audience from the 1930s to the 2020s, and that's precisely why like, they worked so maybe well. Maybe they could call it like a twist of 
you know, Snow White. It, like, they could make it pretty similar, but don't call it Snow White if it's not going to be like Snow Snow White. You know, everyone's expecting it to be. But then again, imagine if it did follow Snow White to a T. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I think about that too, because I'm like, imagine if you did, like you read the book and then you haven't seen a movie on it, then you're like, okay, everything's up here. Like everything you see, the character, what it looks like, what they're wearing, stuff like that, the environment, it's all up here in your imagination because you've read it in the book, right? And you haven't seen a movie of it. And then you see the movie and you're like, wow, it either blows your mind or it disappoints you. But yeah, there is a movie, Snow White, that already exists, a cartoon. And now they're trying to like, obviously bring it to life, which is what they've done with many other games but then uh, movies sorry i keep i keep thinking games because we're about to go to gamescom right now um but then it's like i don't know can you impress me if you follow it to a t though so i don't know because then i will know exactly what's going to happen oh this is this is where she gets poisoned oh this is where the prince comes in do you know what i mean like maybe maybe that's why they've changed it i really don't know um but yeah maybe this is a bit too extreme what's happening right now but it's not just her, it's it's the world. And I don't think it is her. I think as a young girl, which she obviously looks like she is, you, you know, you're quite, you know, boy or girl, you're, when you're young, you are quite, um, what's the word? You're easily uh, swayed. You know, like you're, you're, you're like an open book, right? And, and people can just feed you information and you kind of just like a sponge, you soak it all in soak it all up and then you know obviously as a young um woman man whatever you are quite opinionated you are quite impressionable thank you that's the word i'm looking for thank you influenced yes you are my english book <laughs> hi romanilas yeah and as thank much you, as thank you, you thank and your you, friends Sergeant. might look down on them and mock them for not aligning Mine. with whatever fads and trends happen to be the current thing, the inconvenient truth is that they'll mm. still be remembered long after your own lesser efforts have been forgotten. You well, of course, because the, movie, the shows that are remembered for a very, very long period of time are... I, I think the stories that are the most well-remembered and the stories that resonate the best with people for the longest period of time are the ones that reveal some sort of internal truth there is like a core internal truth to something like uh a, a lot of the greek myths or uh the bible things mm -hmm. in the bible uh the green mile you know movies that were really really good uh let me think lord of the rings i think this is a very big one and uh the matrix yeah the matrix is another very very recent one people will be watching and and you know oh, wasn't care that about let think down? the matrix the latest is cool matrix in 50 years people are still using red pill to this day non-stop they're using it probably more now than they did 10 years ago and so these types of stories Thank are, you. Yeah. are what what is interesting and so you cannot tell a story that is contrary to just the core human truth of existence Oof. and then expect for it to have any sort of staying power because the best that that can do is just be interesting for a conversation piece and then people forget about it that's right. what i think you are but a passing ripple in the pond of history whereas they are history yeah they are uh, anyway, I disagree with you, Dr. Gilman. So love God. I think today. he's very, very smart. I think his I think his 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 English is way, way, way his his dictionary is way he uses a lot more words than me. Not to compare me to him, but I I disagree. I think I think he's a very uh, you say zero literally ex literary experience. Yeah, I I think he's quite I think he's got a large vocab. Most people under 30 probably hasn't. Wait, 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 wait. Hasn't seen the OG animated movie. If they just redid it with modern animation, just thinking through the source material would be. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Dunhill, you're right. And Roswell was saying earlier on about something, and I wanted to add to that. Roswell, um, what about the latest 007 movie? Even that, you're like, really? Like, is it necessary, though? Articulate. I think he's quite smart. Go away. There's a lot to learn from this guy, actually. All right. Well, that was a nice video. What that was a nice, a nice video. I don't think I've watched a lot of his videos. I remember this guy was uh, named the critical drinker. I'll give it a like and give him a sub. Um, was named 
uh, as one of the uh, axes of evil on <gasps> on some website for like uh, commentary content. And yeah, I, I think honestly, you know, I could see this I'm guy for someone who hasn't really um, traveled around, the, you know, around the world. I don't know if he's even left America. I don't know. I really don't know. Tell me if he if he has. But um, he's quite he's quite experienced. Like he's quite worldly. Like he I know he's just. I might be wrong, but from what I from what I've watched and what I've you know I've learned stuff if you can believe it from his channel. I mean I'm I'm a streamer and I'm not saying like um, you know he he knows everything and he's always right. No, but he is strongly opinionated and I think that's that's one thing that people like watching him for because of his strong opinions. Um, but you know he does have a lot of stuff. He does he does know a lot of stuff that um, I would say most people wouldn't you know he's got he's got a lot of not political well let's not even go there but he does like he does he really does um